if dissociation equations are true, and they are, you'll have to trust us on that one, then all those equations that we were doing before in the balancing of uh, chemical equations section, they're not necessarily all right. Because if they have compounds that are AQ in them, aqueous ionic compounds, they don't actually exist. They dissociate into their ions. So we can't write non-ionic equations like this and think that they're accurate. Although they do work kind of well for most intents and purposes. So look, we've got zinc and hydrochloric acid. We need two of them in the balanced equation to react to produce zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. So let's say that that's your equation. That's the non-ionic equation. How do we get a net ionic equation out of that? What's really happening? Is this happening? No, not really. <laughs> okay, so we need to take anything that's aqueous and break it down into ions, but only the aqueous compounds. Don't break down the solids. Don't break down the gases. Only break down the aqueous ones like this. So here is a total ionic equation, which is anything that's aqueous broken down into ions. Look, we've got the zinc solid and we've got our two HCLs which can actually dissociate into H positive and Cl negative. But since we have two of those, we have two of these and two of these. Two H positive and two Cl negatives. That's really what constitutes all the reactants here. Now the products are well, there's a zinc chloride compound, we've got to break it down to ions. Zinc ion, Zn2 positive AQ, and then 2Cl negative AQ. Ah, and then the hydrogen gas, we leave it alone because it's a gas. This is the total ionic equation. Now take a look. From one side to another, certain things change, but certain things remain the same. The zinc becomes an ion. The H positive ion becomes a gas but chloride stays the same. So really, in that reaction, chlorine doesn't do anything, but just watch. It's called a spectator species. Chemicals can be species. And so, we take the spectators out, nicely balanced, two and two, and then we get our net ionic equation. How do we do that? Well, you'd probably have to write it again. I just have to use my eraser. And <laughs> look at that. This Nice long arrow there. Zinc solid and two hydrogen ions make zinc ions plus hydrogen gas. It's all balanced, and look at the charges. Two positive and zero here makes a two positive total on the reactant side. Two positive and zero there make a total of two positive on the product side. So not only are we balanced with atoms, but we're balanced with charge. That's important later in chemistry too. Just thought I'd show you.